डियर स्टूडेंट्स यूट्यूब चैनल डी आर एस मैथ्स वेलकम्स यू कीप ऑन वॉचिंग वीडियोज बाई डी आर एस मैथ्स एट एन अकेडमी एंड यूट्यूब टू टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ फ्रैक्शन दैट इज एच सी एफ एंड एल सी एम ऑफ द फ्रैक्शन इन द प्रीवियस टू टॉपिक्स टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शन एंड द कंपेरिजन बिटवीन द फ्रैक्शन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर एंड लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल of the fraction this video is beneficial for the super tet that is up tet examination part 2 let's start the video today highest common factor of the fractions it's simply calculated as the highest common factor that is hcf of numerators divided by lcm of denominators that is least common multiple what it means and how it is calculated let's see in the examples as you are seeing here in the first example the fractions are 4 by 3 4 by 9 2 by 15 36 by 21 we have to calculate the highest common factor of these fractions highest common factor of these fractions is highest common factor of the numerators it means 4 4 2 and 36 divided by the least common multiple of the denominators that is 3 9 15 and 21 so you are seeing here the highest common factor we can calculate or we can find a number a such number which divide all the numerators a largest number in these four is 2 which can divide all fours so highest common factor is 2 the least common multiple is generally calculated as the maximum number of the digits which is available in all the in all these four numbers as you are seeing here Three ones here. Three two times in the nine. Three one times in fifteen. Three one times in twenty one. So three maximum times appears. That is two times. Then five one times and then seven one times. So the LCM is the product of all these four and it is three three is a nine five is a forty five seven is a three hundred fifteen. So highest common factor of this fraction is two by three hundred fifteen. Similarly, see the second example. Highest common factor of three by five, two by three, seven by four, thirteen by six. We have to again find out the highest common factor of these fractions. The process is same. Take the highest common factor of the numerators. That is three, two, seven, and thirteen. There is only one number which can divide all four completely, and that is one. Then least common multiple of denominators. That is five, three, four, and six is five into three, four. Contains two two times six contains one time three and one times two which is already included here. So the LCM is five into three into two into two that is sixty. So the highest common factor of these four fractions is one by sixty. This is the way to calculate the highest common factor of any fraction. Now we have to calculate the LCM of a fraction that is least common multiple. Common multiple is calculated as the least common multiple of numerator divided by the highest common factor of the denominators as you have seen in both the formula that is for the calculation of highest common factor we are taking highest common factor of numerators and in the denominator lcm just reverse it and you will get lcm that is lcm is equal to lcm of numerators divided by highest common factor that is hcf of denominators For example, for the same fractions, we are going to calculate LCM. That is four by three, four by nine, two by fifteen, thirty-six by twenty-one. So LCM is equal to LCM of four, four, two, and thirty-six. For that, we have to take the maximum numbers. That is four, four, two, thirty-six. The maximum times two comes. That is two times. That is two twos of four, and then three, two times in thirty-six. So the LCM is four into nine. That is. Four nines are thirty-six in the denominator. Highest common factor in between three nine fifteen and twenty-one is three. Is the number which can divide all fours, and three is the largest number which can divide all fours. So three becomes the highest common factor. Four into nine by three. After simplification, it is three three is a nine. You are going to get four three is a twelve. So LCM of these four fractions is written as twelve, or in the form of fraction, it can be written as Twelve by one. Now see the another example. Such type of question is also asked in the examination that find the smallest positive number 
which is exactly divisible by 1 by 3, 1 by 2, 3 by 7 and 4 by 11. When the question asked in this form, we are confused what we have to find out whether HCF or LCM. For that, you have to focus only on these two things. If they are asking for a smallest number, which could be divisible by the given numbers, in that case, you have to find out LCM. When they are asking for largest number, which could divide the given numbers, in that case, you have to find out the HCF. See here. So, they are asking for the smallest positive number, which is exactly divisible by in this case you have to find out lcm so lcm is equal to lcm of numerators divided by hcf of denominators so numerators are 1 1 3 and 4 so lcm of all these four divided by highest common factor of 3 2 7 and 11 as you are seeing all these four numbers the maximum common number which can divide them is 1 and the LCM of the numerator is product of all 4 that is 1 into 1 into 3 into 4 that is 12. So as you have seen in the two, both the two examples the LCM is 12 a 12 by 1. It doesn't mean every pair of fraction having the same LCM. Okay. Now the next thing which you have faced the problems at which topic you are going to see in the examination that is the reciprocal fractions what is a reciprocal fraction when uh, for that you just see the definition of a reciprocal number the reciprocal of a fraction or a number is a number a which is written as 1 by a that is reciprocal of a is always 1 by a the product of reciprocal number and the number itself is always be unity that is 1 means if a is a number then its reciprocal is 1 by a and if we are going to multiply these two we will get 1 for example reciprocal of 6 is 1 by 6 reciprocal of 8 is 1 by 8 reciprocal of 3 by 5 what we are doing 6 that is 6 by 1 8 that is 8 by 1 we are just taking the reciprocal of it right so here it is reciprocal of 3 by 5 becomes 5 by 3 just a reverse of it if you want to check it just multiply the number with its reciprocal add 6 into 1 by 6 6 6 cancel you are going to get 1 next 8 8 cancel you are going to get 1 3 by 5 reciprocal of it is 5 by 3 3 3 is cancelled 5 5 is cancelled and you are going to get 1 so a number when multiplied with its reciprocal it gives you 1 next thing sometimes they are asking for the compound fractions what is a compound fraction a fraction of fraction is called compound fraction you are seeing the question asked in the examination 1 by 3 of 1 by 2 they are asking a fractional part of a given number if the fractional part they are asking is to be calculated for a fraction number then the resultant value is known as compound fraction how you are going to calculate of means into so whenever you are going to see off in a question you just replace off by multiplication and you will get the answer one third of one by two it means one by three multiplied by one by two simplify if they are going to be cancellated otherwise just multiply the so one into one it is one three two just six so compound fraction of one by three of one by two is one by six similarly 3 by 4 of 2 by 5 of 8 by 9. So replace both the ops by multiplication. You are going to get 3 by 4, 2 by 5. Here it is 2, 2 by 5 and it is 8 by 9. So you are going to get it is what? 4, 2 is 8, 3, 3 is 9. So you are going to get 2 here and this 2 is here which is not written. So it is 2, 2 is 4 and divided by 5, 3 is 15. So the compound fraction is 4 by 15. Next, 4 by 5 of 3 by 8 of 100. 100 is a complete number. Every integral value is a fraction. How? 100 can be written as 100 by 1. So, it's also a fraction. So, three, 4 by 5, 3 by 8 and 100 by 1. So, replace of by multiplication and simplify it. It is 4 by 5 into 3 by 8 into 100 by 1. Now, it is 5 20 times 100. 4 2 8 2 10 100 2 10 20 now 
you are getting here it is 23 is a 60 by 2 again simplify it is 2 3 is a so final answer is 30 or can be written as 30 by 1 so this is a compound fraction so in this way in this lecture we have discussed about how to calculate hcf and how to calculate the lcm of a pair of fractions how to find out reciprocal of a fraction and how to calculate compound fractions i hope it will help you in the examination please keep on watching the videos by drs maths at an academy and youtube too keep on watching we will meet in the next video till then keep on watching the videos by drs maths thank you so much